Hi, I'm Ben Brashen. I'm Ryan Leopold. And welcome to Mortgage Resource TV, where we deliver you real solutions to the real mortgage problems we all face in the world of real estate. And of course, to be slightly to very entertaining. At the end of each Mortgage Resource TV episode, you'll get simple solutions to complex problems you face. So sit back and enjoy the premiere edition of Mortgage Resource TV. Did you notice that all of a sudden the real estate market got hot? I mean, there's escalation clauses, multiple offers, and homes selling in one day. It's almost a time warp back to 2006. Do you know what the number one song was in April of 2006? I don't, but I'm sure you're gonna tell us. But it's true, the real estate market has heated up and lenders have gotten super busy. Not only are people buying houses again, which is great, but we have people who do traditional refinances because rates are still at all time lows. And over the last two or three weeks, the HARP 2.0 refinance program came out, which has swamped the industry. So all this is creating everybody being very busy and making the process just take a little bit longer. I mean, you probably already know somebody who had to extend their contract due to some issues in the lending industry. Underwriting terms have doubled, sometimes even tripled in some cases. Conditions are taking longer to clear, and with new lender guidelines, I'm sure you know, there's a lot more paperwork that's needed. It's almost like everything hit the mortgage world at once, and it's having its worst day ever. Okay, okay, pump the brakes a little bit, pump the brakes. Okay, it's busy. It's a little bit more of a challenge, but it's not that bad. The reality is inspections are taking a little bit longer. Appraisals are taking a little bit longer. Turn times for underwriting are a little bit longer. But at the end of the day, there's things that we can all do to better prepare ourselves and better prepare our clients for what can be a little bit more of a challenging process today. Uh, Ryan, all those things do make for the worst day in the mortgage world. But guess what? Mm. The number one song in April 2006, no. Daniel Pewter's I Had a Bad Day. Oh, there you go. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Top four things you can do to better prepare your clients. Number one, encourage your clients to reconfirm their pre-approval and send all updated financial documents to their lender, even before the offer is being made. Number two, communicate with your lender to set a fair and reasonable close date on your contracts. Different programs and mortgage strategies will require different turn times in underwriting. Number three, let your lender know in advance if you foresee any issues that could pop up during the inspection and schedule that inspection as soon as possible once you have mutual acceptance. The sooner you sign off on the inspection contingency, the sooner we can all feel comfortable ordering that appraisal. And finally, number four, connect the seller and the listing agent to your lender to assure there's efficient communication with everyone involved in the transaction. Thanks, Ryan. And there you have it. It's real mortgage solutions to the real mortgage problems that you and your clients face. Thanks so much. We'll catch you next time.